Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another game day vlog. These have been flying lately. One, two, and three have absolutely been off the charts. They've been so much uh, better received, I think, this year compared to last year. I think that's just because I've been doing it for a year and people know what to expect and people are really enjoying it. So thank you so much for the love and the support. Make sure you subscribe, you like, you comment, you do all those type of things. This is the best comment from the previous episode, the previous video. So make sure that you guys, uh, if you want to win the best comment, then make sure you try and replicate something like that. Congratulations, obviously, to the winner. But without further ado, let's get into round number four, Wangaratta Rovers versus Myrtleford. Ooh, we're a bit blurry. Hello, can you work? Oh, hello, here we go. All right, so it's been a very busy day. It's about 4 p.m. on a Friday, 3 p.m. on a Friday, but we're gonna go back to the start of the day because we had quite a busy day, so I'm gonna take you back to that. Uh, so yeah, I guess go for it. I'll see you guys soon. Morning work done, you know how it is, get in the gym, nothing too crazy. And then a little bit of ice bath as well, so we're ticking them all off. What do you reckon? Yeah. Good, yeah. Chicks, yeah. this guy is so good with girls. He's an absolute weapon. So I've had a pretty busy morning, um, obviously with the, the gym and ice bath and all that sort of stuff, which is good. Now uh, I'll go down and grab some breakfast, do a bit of work on the lappy, and uh, keep on smashing it, but it's Friday, baby. Yeah. Can you guys, I will, I will. Anyway, you'll I'll end up pulling. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, okay, I will. You'll end up letting Paul McKinney if they work to death. No, it's it's, it's the simplest thing, yeah, isn't it? <laughs> Oh, imagine them two going. You can hold it if you want. Except for the coffee. Chicha. What we got? Who goes in Chicha? It's Italian, yeah. Just been doing some work, you know how it is. And then we now are off to a nice little barbecue with some of the boys. So you go hit that and um, yeah, keep them busy. All right, so you probably saw me start this video. I've done a lot of editing, as you can probably tell. Uh, it's now, it's three o'clock on a bloody, what is it, what day is it say, Friday. Uh, I'm gonna go down to the Oval for a kick, uh, get a bit of a kick and a catch in, have some set shots, have some running shots, nothing crazy, probably 30, 45 minutes, just whatever I can do. And then we are going to probably come back here, chill, do some more work and uh, go as we go. But that's what I'm gonna do uh, now. I guess let's get to it. It's been a pretty busy day so far. We've been getting a whole heap of stuff done. I'm pretty sure I've said busy day like 15 times throughout this vlog, so sorry if you guys are sick of hearing me say that. Um, hopefully you like my new haircut as well. I just cut it the other day. I've cut the mullet a little bit shorter. It was getting too long, it was getting gross. Um, it just kept like flapping into my face when I was running and stuff. Like, it just got hell, of a, hell annoying. We're here at the crib, obviously. Um, this is the uh, the Wangaratta Gateway, which I am fortunate enough to stay in at all times. My bed's not made. Not good enough for me, but that's okay. This is the crib. Like I said before, we've got uh, everything sorted. We're ready to go for the bowl tonight. Um, but yeah, this is everything. It might look messy, but it's actually very well organized. We've got the boots ready to go. Uh, we've got a bit of denk rub as well just in case we need it. And then any more free workout that we might need. Gee whiz, I love that stuff, but uh, yep, that's me. Let's wrap this up. I think I've been talking for way too long, about a minute. Uh, anyway, shut up and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Uh, 
feeling good. Um, the goats are here. Anything to say, goats? We got, I'm here with Harry Sheasel. What do you have to say to all the girls watching this right now? Hey. <laughs> oh, shit. What a day. Lovely. Put it on yourself. Uncut. Yeah. <laughs> Cut or uncut? Shredded. <laughs> Who's shredded? <laughs> Might do a pink again. Oh, Pound it. You gotta go like that. Do you not know the oh, perfect? Pound it. Pound it. Nah, no, yeah. again. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's very close. <laughs> Close. <laughs> delete, 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 delete. Oh. oh, my fucking quad is that sore. What do you reckon? Tommy, how's the, how's the Mert matchup looking this weekend, dude? It'll be an exciting matchup. We, um, Lavington and Mert are very close, and we were very close to Lavi, yeah. so hopefully we can take the dub. How is your matchup looking this weekend? Yeah, look, the Mert boys, they're, they're struggling. Never yeah. like to see someone struggle, but hopefully, look, we're flying at the moment, so we'll just carry that momentum through. we got to buy next week, so really hoping to put a bit of a statement in there, really. But what's the go with the haircut there? We've got a lightning bolt. Harry Potter. Did you just, just get one of them called a lightning bolt. <laughs> <laughs> Harry Potter. Yeah, Harry Potter. 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 Oh, these turds, boys, they're fucking funny, eh? <laughs> Allow that. High <laughs> five, baby. Let's go. Elite just went for a nice kick in the evening uh, and then went for an ice bar and that sort of stuff as well. Now we're going to go up to the room, get everything sorted. LFG, baby. Um, okay, room level three. We're gonna go up to the room, get everything sorted, and then we're gonna go um, to dinner. What is it, like 6.30? Six, seven, it's seven o'clock. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I kind of feel a little bit sick still, like <clears throat> sore throat, <laughs> a bit sniffly, but no excuses, baby. Good to get that work in. Quad feels a little bit sore, but uh, really good to have hot, cold water therapy as well. Love that. <laughs> Hello? Do you know? What's that? What's this, bro? Oh, damn it. What is the name of that? Where is 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 that? That is pretty much a wrap for our Friday. A pretty busy day, got plenty of work in, um, and yeah, plenty of just like catching up with people as well, so that was a great day. Uh, Bells has made the trip down, or up, from Melbourne. How's the trip? Pretty good. Wasn't pretty good. too bad. Feeling good? Feeling good, feeling like a good wag over here. Good wag. Uh, yeah, anyway, that's a wrap. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the vlog so far. Plenty more to come. And of course, Murderford tomorrow. So very exciting. But for now, good night. And um, what else should I say? That was you reckon. Do you have a sign off for the night? Do you have anything to say to everyone? Tomorrow. Don't play like shit tomorrow. I think that was, yep, that's for me. Good night, everybody. <laughs>
uh, of what it's like and the people there as well because you can always tell uh, the kind of people in a place based off um, the supporters for the football team. So Myrtleford have played two games and they had zero wins and two losses. But they only lost the other week um, by 10, oh, I think six points to Lavington. We only beat Lavington by a goal. So I think that um, if both teams turn up and, and play their best level of football, it would actually be a really, really good game. I'm starting off my morning with some cranberries. Bells is here. What do you reckon, Bells? You like them? The craisins? Yeah, they're alive. They're good? Mm-hmm. How do you reckon you look on camera? Shocking at the minute, but we'll improve later on. Okay. We've got the ball tonight, which is very, very exciting. We'll be balling. Um, so that'll be really, really good. I think the focus today in terms of footy side of things is just to, like, I think last week I went, oh, I need to be more confident. And then when things didn't go my way, I kind of like dropped my head a little bit with, with everything. So I think that today, my main focus is just going to be on enjoyment, um, just like smiling, having a laugh. I think a good example is that Braden Maynard won on Anzac Day, the biggest biggest uh, stage pretty much of the year, and he's fluffed a kick and mistakes really happened. So I haven't really played to the best of my ability yet this year, which is um, disappointing, but it's also just like, nah, it's just footy at the end of the day, and that's exactly how I started last year in the Quaffle. So. I'm really excited for today just to go out there and enjoy it. Don't really matter what happens. Obviously face a whole lot of um, different obstacles that other people, I think, out there on the field. So um, I think that just focusing on enjoying it and smiling and having a laugh and then everything else hopefully will just come as it comes. Anyway, not to wrap. I'm going to go have some scrambled eggs or something for breakfast. I think that's all I've got to say. Yeah, LFG. Super kick, number 10. He's gonna go inside. Might switch to the left foot. It is. Puts it in. Who's in there? Maybe it a little is. bit of this, a little bit of that. No, it's a drop mark. Oh, no, it is, and he's taking it. Taking he's it. called play on. How are you calling that play on? You're bloody, you're bloody joking me, surely. It's been ripped off there. Disgrace. He's ripped umpires. Off. Disgrace. Disgrace, man. Disgrace. You've got to pay it, don't you? know what else is a disgrace? That freaking perm, mate. It's not a perm. It's all natural. El naturale. Let's go. Hopefully, hopefully our twos take the W. Let's go!
First quarter action for A-grade oils and batteries. Here is uh, Robbie McKinlay. Murray won the tap, and now McCartney ducked under one. Got a quick kick. It'll come to the club room side wing. Murray and Forrest. Murray might have pushed in the back. He didn't. The Ivers got it out of the ruck. Kicked it long. Here's a chance for Prime Train. Ball come to ground. Dylan Wilson's got it. Could he get through the tackle? He couldn't. It was a good tackle there by Alex Jacobs. He was clever. Sits for Wales. Didn't get the bounce. Here's another go for Merleford. Win whistle. Now there's a whistle. Advantage played. And it'll be a goal there to Sam Hilton Joyce. It will. It's a boundary. You'll have a good view of this broadcast site. Kicking to the Mount Buffalo end, Southern end. He's going to go the traditional drop punt. It's coming back. Not enough through for a minor score. The Ibis decides to go long. Have a look at the kick. It's a beauty. Gee, that was a good kick from the young fella. Yes. Here comes Mark Lou. Kick on the way. This time he brings it back, but enough. He's <laughs> going to call it. The umpire's in to so Oh, hello. Wow. We're going to have a chat here. No one's real sure. No, I reckon it was a point from my looked, view, yes. and it I'm right like behind point. it. The umpire says yes, one point. So good call in the end, Mont. The right decision, I think, was made there. Dylan Wilson picked it up. A w nicely weighted handball. He's picked it up here now to McLaughlin running with the footy. It was Joey Allen. He goes short to the prime train. The prime train has spotted Mark Lou. He will have his third shot on gold. He runs around, screws it over his shoulder. Alex Marklu on his third attempt has put it through for a goal. Still on goal of the day, contender. And the Rovers hit the front. 1-2-8. Marklu scored them all by Sharp. He'll run around. He'll kick a goal. He does exactly that. The Saints are economical in front of goal. Two straight 12. Lee Wanger at a 1-4-10. Clunk it. Oh. Hand passes over the top to Philo. He can run onto his right or left. Take your pick. He goes the snap. Wrong option in the end, and it falls to Horrigan in the goal square for the Myrtleford Alpine Saints. They blew a chance there, the Wangaratta Rovers. He just wasn't sure whether to go to a, for a shot on goal. Monty probably should have just backed himself in. Line up, kick from 40 on a slight angle. That's gun barrel straight, and it's a steel line goal that a contender from Tommy Capillari. Coach Sam Murray always wants to aggressively come in board. He does it by hand to Lanaz. Left foot kick, hugs the boundary line. Out muscling his opponent was Tom Bolt to the prime train, and he's got it on centre wing for the Rovers. Prime kicks it long. It's a good kick to Gerrish on the fly. Hardly had to adjust his running pattern. Should have got a free kick. Wow. He's, as, he's as stiff as you'd like to be. I'll tell you what, as Pander at Lake Buffalo, <laughs> he has got young McPherson again, picked up the footy at half back. Runs with it. Now here's the prime train. Look at him go. Good handball to Gerrish. Gerrish in one way, out the other. Handball to hurry back to Dylan Stone. He's under a bit of pressure here. Now it goes back to the centre of the grant, the centre half forward area, but it's chopped out. And it's marked by Jacobs, and he kicks it across the goal, but it's okay, Panda. Mark Lou couldn't quite hang it on her initially. Now Mark Lou's back for another go, and he's got his mate Gerrish there. Here's Gerrish and Mark Lou. Gerrish, look at this. He's a quick operator. He gathered the ball, handballed it to Mark Lou. He's only looking at one thing. That's the gold square. It's penetrating. Prime, let it go. Well done, Prime. Unselfish teamwork stuff there from the Prime train. Great work from Alex Mark Lou, because if you look at his second effort, he's got two. Mark Lewis started that from half back and he just kept running and running. That's power running. The Rovers go inside forward 50. Prime train on a search Look lead in front of Alex Jacobs. Hand passes it back to Williamson. They go into the pocket looking for Mark Lou and they find him. 20 metres out, tied up against the boundary. Jesus, a bit of grunting and whatnot going. Oh, he mirrors it just his head. Bam in there by Sharpie and there's nothing too serious in that. They both have a bit of a laugh at it. And here, it's a one-point lead to the Myrtleford Alpine Saints. And here is Robbie McKinlay for Wangaratta Motor Group in this second quarter. Oh, gee, uh, Forrest went high, got the tap. This time, coming at Dylan Wilson does. Handball over the top, might fall the way of Mark Lou. Snap over his left shoulder. Oh, good fist on it there. Kept the ball in by Jacobs. Chasing after it now is the prime train. He went one way, went the other. He's got a free kick. He has. He's got a high shot. So the prime train will have a shot on goal. He's only about 30 metres out, but it's a tight angle, Monty. Yeah, it is, and I reckon watching some of his videos, he'll probably play on and try and snap this one around the body, but he got there first, got down low, and, and got the free kick uh, that he was deserved. I have never seen him miss this shot on any of the videos he's loaded up. This is his, it's in his wheelhouse. Do you reckon he might do it? It's in his wheelhouse. I don't think he's ever missed. So this is a chance to do it. 
The Prime, he's been really heavily involved in this game. A nice shepherd early in the game. The Prime Tone, looking like it might be the drop punt. Tight angle, he's on the boundary, he's in, nearly in the netball court. Kick on the way, the prime train has nailed it and he's given an almighty serve to a few spectators on that over the boundary. Don't worry about that prime train, that is a steel line goal of the day contender. That was a lovely finish, I like his work, Panda. I like it too. Dan Vaccaro, do you like it? Oh, mate, I, I love it. I reckon he's been really good today, boys. He's had five touches and he's kicked the goal. Not much more you can ask for from a pressure forward, boys. They've gone inside forward 50 once, Rovers, and they've already kicked their score. That's probably the difference of the day where Murderford have gone inside forward 50 and it comes straight back out. But really positive start by Rovers. Brody Philo, Sam Murray getting their hands on it early in prime train with a great finish. Order, the ball bounces. Wicks couldn't get it the first time. He did well. Oh, Mark Lou brilliantly got it to prime train for back-to-back -back goals. Handball over the top by Prime Train. Free he's kick. Gonna he's a throw. Wow. It's going to go against the, the Prime Train on this occasion. You can't have it all your way all the time. It was uh, looking dangerous. Free kick, Myrtleford. Might be the Hurrigan out there at the uh, last line of defence. And it is Panda. And they're going to chip it. And it's going to go there to Jacobs. So Jacobs. They're really starting to run from Osborne. Kicks it long down the line. Good punch there by Jacobs. Myrtleford have got numbers in defence. Handball release comes to Levi Young. He's got Riley Booker. Booker off half back. He decides he'll go back towards the goal square. And that's where it sits. It's back with Jacobs. And he goes over to the netball side of the ground. And Monty for Waters, I tell you, Myrtleford, they've got it controlling the ball okay. I love the style of footy they're playing. Yeah, absolutely. They take it on when they need to, but when they need to slow it down across half back, they definitely take their time and take the kicks on back to the middle once they move it forward a little bit. So here's McCarthy, Alex at half forward. Another great kick from the Ibis. How about that? He uses the ball well for a Ruckman. McCarthy's probably too far out to score. Searching lead in the pocket is from the prime train. Tom Bolsh, who will go back from 30 metres out on a pretty tight angle, Robbie. Best on ground for mine today so far, Alex McCarthy. There you go. Do you agree, please, Scott Montgomery? Uh, probably not quite my best on ground, but he's been pretty good, Robbie. I will agree if he's been pretty good. Yeah, he's, I've tr give me one who's better, Mon. Uh, well, Alex Markley has been pretty good. Yep. He has. Yep. <laughs> That's probably fair enough. Jack Robbie. Gerrish. Robbie gives the nod yep. of agreeing. So here's Tom Bolsh, the prime train. He's already kicked one. The only goal in this second quarter. He starts it out to the right. It doesn't come back <laughs> enough. And it's through for a minor score. So the prime train's got 1-1. One, one, and the Rovers go to 3-7-25. The Saints 3-3-21. That's on the CMV truck and bus. Second quarter scoreboard. We played 12 minutes on the Macca's time clock. The Murray boys raffle it. 10 points. Comes in. Kick on the way. It's a beauty. Gee, yeah. that's a nice drop punt. I don't know why they muck around with these other styles of kicking, Panda, when you can use a I don't know kick either, like Robbie. that. It's served the game so well for 120 years. Maraca roves it brilliantly, kicks it to a one-on-one. -on -one. McCarroll! Yes. Resting forward in the oven, Zamari. McCarroll goes in Ooh. and nails it. Made the umpire work a little oh. bit. It's Smith. In fact, it was McNamara. Hand pass it to the run man Great of kick. Dylan Stone. Goes inside forward 50 and sneaking out the back was Osborne, and he's going to line up 20 yeah, metres out. the 50. Bit of 50, 50. Well picked up on the boundary for Monty, but once again, great movement by the Rovers. Made him earn it. Absolutely was. Just a chain of hands, and then a player just got out the back. Finn Osborne has been working hard across half forward and goes bang. He does indeed. Through for a steel line goal of the day. A Mawson's concrete play of the day. Great movement there by the Rovers. Second quarter action for Wangaratta Motor Group. Good pressure in this game at the moment, Monty, on the boundary for Waters. Yeah, absolutely. It hasn't died off at all from both sides. They're definitely putting both teams under the pump around the footy. Forcing the quick hands, which is forcing skill execution errors. Really good kick there by Prime Train, boys. He's up to his eighth touch this game, and he's kicked one goal, one, and Murderford up to 11 inside 50s on the 40-wing stat sheet. That is an aggressive kick. But it's going to pay off from Gerrish. Finds shut in the middle of the ground. It's open the entire play up here for the Rovers. Brody Philo will go on his left foot. And oh. that is a beautiful kick oh. from Brody Philo. And that's why he's one of the best players in country footy. Alex Marthlou, Mark Lou lining up for goal number three. A steel line goal today. And the Rovers get their six. And Winter Irving at half forward. The Saints go inside 50. Bren on. Declan Brennell will kick from 45 metres out directly in front. He likes it off the boot. And that's a great way to finish the quarter for the Myrtleford Alpine Saints. And we have a ripping game here on o &M Live. The Saints 5-3 to the Rovers 6-7. So it is...
a 10 point lead going into half time on RM Live. Panda, we away. Murray won another tap. And he won another clearance. Kicked it off the ground to half forward. Dylan Wilson overran it. Nice work by Ferguson. Mark by Dylan Stone. Picks out Mark Ludy Marks. As quick as that, just one little mistake. Good pre defensive pressure though. Here he goes. 40 out. Pretty much directly in front. And he likes it. He loves every little bit of it. So do his teammates. The Rovers get the first goal to start second half action. They lead it by 16 points. Ashton McPherson, hand pass has been intercepted by Smith. Beautiful one over the top to Stone who comes in board to Wilson. Ball's 50 metres out. Gerrish kicks it to the hot spot in the space. Prime train out the back. Takes it on his chest and he'll line up 20 metres out. Pretty tight angle, but you'd expect him to go back and nail this one. Absolutely you would. And just look at the little Murderford boys that are following him end to end today. It's great to see behind the goals. So the prime train. <laughs> They're loving it. Uh, I think mean, he's just, uh, I don't know what he's doing here, but he's just getting close to the man of mark. Oh, look at this. Runs around, snaps on the left to cool as you like. A steel line goal today for the prime train, Tommy Bowles. She's got his second. And the Rovers have kicked the first two goals in the third quarter. 8 9 57, Myrtleford 5 3 33. And maybe our man Dan Vaccaro might be right. It's starting to break open a little bit. A 24 point lead here to the, uh, to the Rovers. You're absolutely right, Panda. They're looking really dangerous here, Rovers. As I said earlier, they look like they're threatening to blow this game open, and they're starting to do that now. So Myrtleford really need a reaction out of the centre clearance here. Well, I've really enjoyed Prime's game today, and I've, I reckon they might have been on, they're onto something here. They're playing a lot deeper, and he can be just a little bit elusive. He's playing a real small forward, opportunist type of role. Nine touches, two goals. It's a good game so far. Another clearance there, tap by the big Ibis. Some Riley Sharp. He's already kicked one today. Usually a good drop punt. That is gun barrel straight. And this one certainly isn't over. Wales goes back to Del Bosco. They want to switch the footy. He runs a long way, does Del Bosco, and kicks a torpedo mongrel punt in the middle of the ground. You can't turn the footy over there. Prime train out the back, takes the mark. And will he go back for goal number three? He'll have to kick from every bit of 52 or three metres. Does he have it in him, Monty? Oh, I reckon he's backing himself here. And I reckon, uh, yeah, I reckon he's got the distance. I'm just not sure about the accuracy, but I reckon he's got the distance. So you'll have to kick from, as I said, 52 metres, 45 degree angle broadcast side, kicking to the Mount Buffalo, Lake Buffalo end. Mm. So prime train for number three. Oh, look Gives at it everything. It's pretty good off the boot. And he's running to the crowd and he loves it, the prime train. A steel-eyed goal today. He loves it. The girls down there certainly love it as well. And the margin's back out to 17 points. He's got three, Monty. <laughs> Yeah, he's looked pretty dangerous today, hasn't he? He's been able to be a bit elusive, but just the turnover through the middle of the ground really killed um, his opponent there, who is Alex Jacobs, who got a bit offside because he was trying to push up behind the footy as they were moving forward, and then he was able to sneak out the back and take that mark. But, yeah, great finish from outside 50. Yeah, absolutely spot on there, Monty. He's had, a, he's had 10 touches this game. He's kicked three goals. His best game in the Rovers' colours this year. He's starting to really look dangerous. We've had five goals in mm. 10 minutes yeah. of footy in this third quarter. That's uh, good footy. Yeah, it is, and the, there was Late goals before half time, Pan Curtis goes long. Sharp is looking dangerous. He's over the footy. He got round one. Handball over the top. Winter Irving. He'll run into an open goal and he kicks it. The Saints get it back to 10 points. 8 5 53. Wangaratta Rovers 9 9 63. 12 and a half minutes gone for STY medals. And that's on the Harvey Norman betting scoreboard. Dan Vaccaro, what are those inside 50s looking like? Last year. For goal number five, no mistake. Mark Lou's got five. The Rovers got 10. 10 9 69. The Saints 8 5 53. Lee Sharp almost gave away a free kick. Bren goes back to Wales. Once he's left foot, they're playing around with it here a little bit. This is good heat. Hell by the Dan Vaccaro on the 40 wing stat sheet. And Wales has gone bang. And the margin's back to 10. Goal for goal here at the McNamara Reserve on OM Live. We got a beauty. On 15 double six three and a the Saints 59, the Rovers 69. 16 minutes played in this third quarter. Dan Vaccaro just a plays a role, doesn't he? Every yeah, week. I like this lad. Oh, dangerous kick! This is going to test Smithy out. It goes over the back. Here comes the Bren gun. Ah, kicks it long, just out from the top of the goal square. Sharp second bite, couldn't get it. Elijah Wales, he'll kick this. You betcha! Steel line goal of the day, Elijah Wiles gets his second, margin back to four points.
from their third system. He's got a runner. It's Curtis, the bloke that gave it to him. He runs to half forward. Kicks a long drop punt to the hot spot. Sharp's caught out the back. Here's Brody Riccardi who oh, snaps no. it, snaps it, <laughs> goals! And the Saints are unbelievably in front. Here's Dylan Stone. They need to get the ball in his hands. Look at Prime. Goes forward. Here's Dylan Wilson. He's out the back. Will it sit for him? Him and Ashton McPherson. Wilson just dives on him. Wants a free kick. Umpire says no. Ball up. Dangerous position here for the Rovers. 25 metres out from their goal, Monty. Five out. Long kick. Mark Lou's lurking. It might go through. Oh, Mark Lou, no. It's a big fella. Has grabbed it. Alex Mark Lou. And it pays on, has a bounce, snaps it over his shoulder. He's kicked six goals, five. Wangwood and Rovers are back in front. What a game of footy, 76 to 71. 60 metres out for the Saints. Got a few on their own. Bedendo's one of them, and he marks. Oh, what a hit. And he marks. What a hit. Hilton Joyce hasn't kicked a goal today. Bedendo directly in front, kick on the way. Oh, look at that. And as straight as a gun barrel. Merleford. Back in front, 12 goals, 5, 77. Lead the Wangaratta Rovers, 11, 10, 76. Almost 28 minutes gone on the Harvey Norman betting scoreboard. And we're doing this for STY medals. Mark Lou flies! Oh, he hung Mark Lou. A Mawson's concrete mark of the day. The Saints takes it at half back. I didn't want that quarter to no. end on r &M Live. Three-quarter time siren sounds for STY medals. And the Myrtleford Alpine Saints, 12-5-77 to the Wangaratta Rovers, 11-10-76. Um, yeah, I know you're a listener. Good on you, Mark. Let's see it with a great game. Your little boy's going all right, too. Here we go. Murray flew high, won the tap. Philo over, ran it. Del Bosco, he had a big third quarter. Again, McPherson off half-back. He's kicked. It was a hurried one. He found Cody shut for Wang Rovers. They go short to Winter Irving. Wheels around straight away. Pumps it long. Riley Sharp's down there. Out the back, Brand. There's a whistle. Ooh, and there's a free ball. kick, Monty. Yeah, just uh, he's paid over the shoulder Well, there. Brent has played on with no, the advantage. he's going to pull back. Going to pull back. Everyone stopped. To give the Saints a little bit of breathing space. He nails it. They now lead by seven points. 83 to 76. A big... First goal in this last quarter. We played one and a half minutes. There you go. Five of the last six. Jack Gerrish marks centre wing for Rovers. Kicks a good one. Finds the prime train between half forward and centre wing. Gets a lead from Dylan Wilson. That one's ignored. The prime train now. He's going to use his left. And he swings it nicely. Flying high. Mark Luke. Ball over the back. And it is the young fella. Nick Ferguson, who sees it out over the boundary line. To go back in and tap it to advantage to Bren. Bren over around the footy. Bolt, oh, just no. got him high the prime train. But he sort of ducked, wasn't he? Yeah. yeah. Free kick here in defence for the Bren in the middle for the Alpine Saints. They lead by seven. Three minutes played. The Macca's time clock in this last quarter for the best service station in the world, Robbie McKinley, at Co Wangaratta. 20 second touch for Dylan Stone. Flicks it by hand to Murray. This is Sam. Left foot penetrating kick to McCarthy. Gets out the back of Levi Young. Runs to 55 metres. Kicks down to the goal square. Prime Free got a push. Kick. Free kick, Monty. I reckon Prime got a push. Yeah, he's paid push in the back there. So, free kick to Prime. He'll be nearly straight in front, about 20 out. So, you'd expect him to kick this one. Good fast movement again by the Wangaratta Rovers. The Prime train. Oh. He's kicked three. Looking for four. Watch the celebration if he kicks this one and brings the margin back to a point. So the Rovers currently trail by seven. He's taking all his time here, the prime train. Just soaking up a bit of camera, live action. <laughs> we know he loves it and he bangs through a fourth goal. He loves it, the prime train. His best game in Rovers colours certainly so far for the year. 12-10-82 the Rovers, Myrtleford 13-5-83, that's on the work lock of Wangaratta scoreboard as we tick up towards the six minute mark on the Macca's time clock, Scott Montgomery. And Robbie will be a happy man, Simon Curtis is back out on the field, Robbie, so he just might have had to relieve himself something like that, yep. but he's back out there, so he's gone back into the middle of the ground. And they find out there, McCartney drives it long, here it boards, this time it's marking Mark there, Mark Clue, tight angle. But as I think we often refer to Mont, sometimes he likes these difficult ones, Alex Barclou. Absolutely. You expect him to run around and snap this one, and he does love a celebration, so it might be bigger than uh, prime trains from the last one. 
Here goes Mark Clue. Myrtleford lead by a point. It's ball still in play. They've got numbers here. McCarthy over the ball. Tackle by Crisp. And he's for, oh, he's pinged him. Oh. I'm not sure what chance Alex McCarthy had to get rid of that footy, but he's been penalised. That was a bit wicked. But anyway, that's life, Panda. You've got to move on. Yeah, you get some good ones. You get some bad ones. Blokes out the back if he wants him. Not a great kick. Oh, Tristan Lenaz dropped what he should have marked there in defence for the Rovers. Over this football, Capillari picks it up. Brilliant. Beautiful pick up. Hand pass it back to Riley Booker. Got to get rid of it quickly. Down there, Sharp and McNamara coming through. Riley Sharp and he snaps and he goes it. Oh, we have a ball game here on o &M Live. The Saints extend their margin out to seven points. 89 plays 82. It's 82. Snap goes inside forward. 50. Riley Sharp's kick four. He's hand passed it off to the right foot of Young. I think it was Capillari, was yeah. it? Yeah. No? no, it was Young Bedendo. It was. It was Bedendo. Marked on the goal line there by Sam Murray, Whoa. who wants to get around Brand dangerously. Excess defence. Levi Young leapt really high over Joe Allen. Ball still just inside the attacking half here for the Myrtleford Alpine Saints. Too far out to score. He'll swing around on the left. He'll look for Declan Brand, but bravery. A Mawson's concrete play of the day from Tom Boyd. Yeah. Back in the hole, intercepting. He's down on the ground and hurting. But wow, what a great intercept defensive mark that was from Tom Boyd. Guts. Loves the last quarter goal. Big Mac. He's well, he's going to need it today. He goes long. Mark Lou lurks. Mark Lou might have got a push. Play on to call. You hear, listen for that whistle sometimes, don't you? It wasn't there. We're almost halfway through the final quarter. Upset brewing, Panda. Upset brewing indeed. The Myrtleford Alpine Saints haven't won a game yet. The Rovers are undefeated. Garish, oh. left foot kick, weaving and going! What a finish from Jack Garish. He is an absolute out and out star in the SSNA ovens of Murray. A steel line goal today, something from nothing. And the Rovers are back. 88 plays, 89. Saints lead. We have a ball game, Monty. 14 minutes gone in the Macca's time clock. Here's a Robbie McKinlay. And he kicks to Paddy oh. Murray. Couldn't hold on to the mark. We oh, have numbers everywhere. Intercepted. Numbers back. Sharp over the top. Ball comes to ground. Lanaz leads the charge. Handball. Well, was a bit of hit and hope there. Williamson did well. Got through traffic. Got a handball to McCartney. Inside handball back to Dylan Stone. A little underground pass. Back to Will McCarthy. Back to Dylan Stone. Back to Will McCarthy. Under pressure. Kick. kick. McCartney hangs on. Holds on between half back and centre wing. Merleford lead Rovers by point. 15 and a half minutes gone. Final quarter action. That's on the work block of Wang scoreboard. Apco Wangaratta were doing this last quarter four as McCartney goes down the line. Prime trains there first. Takes a diving mark. He's got a 101 forward. It's Mark Lewin Wicks. Wicks gets a fist in there. Falls to ground. Jack Garrett's oh, coming. No. Oh! Speed. Breaks one tackle. Breaks another. We've got a whistle here, Monty, for Waters. Yeah, played a bit high, I think, against uh, yeah. Simon Curtis. He slipped above as he hit the hit Jackie Gerrish. So he plays on straight away. Kicks to Oymas! Toby Murray in the goal square. Takes a Mawson's concrete mark of the day. On a genuinely topsy-turvy game here at the McNamara Reserve. Gerrish kicked the last one. And Toby Murray... Makes the umpire oh, yeah. work, oh, it. and he has missed Whoa. from 15 metres out directly in front. The kick is okay, Sharp, he gets a good bounce. He doesn't get it. Sam Murray read it beautifully. Gavin, he'll come across the ground now to Will McCarthy. Get on your bike, young fella. He's got acres to run into. Has one bounce. Decides he'll go short with a bit of a wayward one. He kicked it to his brother, Alex. And he goes short, and he finds Dylan Stone. Scores a level if you've just joined us. Stay with us. 89 apiece. Absolute beauty here on RM Optus TV and RM Live. As the Rovers hand pass it down the broadcast wing. Beautiful left foot kick from McCarthy. Crunch. Mark Lou couldn't mark. Wicks is wearing him like a glove. Mark Lou gets up. 55 metres oh. from goal. Beautiful kick in board to Toby Murray, who will line up 40 oh. metres out on a slight angle and a chance to make amends from missing just before 15 metres out directly in front, Monty. Just <laughs> running extraordinary there. Will McCarthy just kept going and going and got three or four touches in that chain and Toby Murray took off from centre-half back and just pushed forward, was able to burn off the murder for Ruckman and just go bang. And the kick from Mark Lumont. Yeah. Unbelievable, isn't he? He's had some sort of day, hasn't he, Alex? 89 apiece.
Scores are level. We've played 18 minutes. This to send the Rovers in front by a goal. Toby Murray makes no mistake. Oh! And he's absolutely cleaned up. Del, is it Del Bosco? Yeah, he'll give away a free kick at the He center. has. He has cleaned up Del Bosco, but it's a steel line goal today. The Rovers 14-11, Myrtleford 14-5. The Rovers are in front by six points. 19 minutes played on the Macca's time clock in this last quarter. He recovered beautifully. He sunk a, a six-footer. Curtis goes long. The ball. Oh, let, was that mirrors? No, it wasn't. It was Tommy Boyd, was it? Or oh, McCarthy. McCarthy. McCarthy takes a good grab. Last line of the fence, and he goes wide. And oh, Levi Young got a shot. Oh, oh. Well done. Party trick. Okay, anytime you like. Now they'll attack down through centre half forward. Sam Murray read it best. Got a cruel bounce. Handball. Back. High kick. Up and under. Sitting under it. Shut. Bren Gunn's there. It goes through for a point, oh. which could be critical. A behind to Myrtleford. They are 90. Wangaroo Rovers are 95. Almost 22 minutes gone on the Macca's time clock. Two sides. They love a close one. The Saints and the Rovers. And Murray goes back to his brother. So they're just trying to take a bit of time off the clock here, the Rovers. 25 minutes gone on the Macca's time clock. 95 plays 90. The Rovers lead. They're still in their own defensive half. They kick long down the wing. Flying high was Murray, and they got another stoppage. A boundary throw-in on true centre wing, Dan Vaccaro, for 40 wings. Really smart play by Rovers. If they can take 30, 40 seconds off the clock now, really important. And the inside 50s, 9 to 14 in favour of Myrtleford. We've had kick this quarter, and we've gone 25 and a half. Here go Myrtleford, last roll of the dice. Through the middle, great kick there by half forward. Here's a chance for Bren to win the game. Declan Bren kicks a goal! Would you believe it? Declan Bren, ball over the back. He ran onto it. He kicks, puts him in front by a point. Bren has two. The kick from Sammy Martin was a beauty, Monty. Myrtleford, 96. Wangaratta Rovers, 95. 26 minutes gone. Hand passes it to Dylan Stone. He's taken two bounces. He's taken three bounces as he streams down the wing. Flicks a hand pass over the top looking for Oz. Well, we're going to have a long stoppage yeah. in this game. Stretch is coming out. Jesus. Yep, this is extraordinary. We do hope that young Will McCarthy is is all right. By the way, there's a lot of play, a lot of trainers around him at the moment. And Ali Murray, the trainer, are heading over that way now. I reckon Sam looks like he's heading towards Myrtle, and I reckon there'll be a shake of the hands pretty soon. Yep, still chasing the audio boards, and, and that'll be it. So, oh, what a game though, and we've. You see Mitchie Del Bosco, the captain of Myrtleford, is they're making their way yeah. over. So you see all the teams are starting to walk Looks, towards yep, each other. They're shaking yep. hands here, boys. Yep, and that'll be uh, that'll be all she wrote. They've got a duty of care to make sure that he is okay. And this game has officially been called. A one-point win, 15-6-96. The Saints, the Rovers, 14-11, 95. And Take away what's happened in the last 27 minutes. The stoppage here, Robbie. Yeah. Game of the year for mine. An unbelievable game of football. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's about 7 o'clock. What's the time, babe? It's about 6.45. It's about 6.45 is what she said. Um, unfortunately, um, terrible uh, performance in the end. Obviously got beaten by, by a point. Um, and obviously prayers go out to um, Will McCarthy for the horrible uh, incident at the end of, end of the game. There was seven seconds to go, um, so there, there could have been a, a chance for something else. But, mate, at the end of the day, you, you weigh things up and uh, the, nothing really matters. Like, you know, foot, footy is important to all of us. I'm sure everyone that's watching, and it's very important to me, but the... the um, the importance of health um, and happiness is probably outweighs that um, ten to none, really. So, obviously, prayers go out to the McCarthy family and especially Will. He was, you know, really struggling there for probably thirty minutes. And after thirty minutes, then you 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 stop the game um, if if we can't sort the player out. So. Massive prayers go out to him. We've got the ball tonight, so um, we'll go and we'll go and hit that, which which will be good. Um, and I think that the, I, th I think I did it last year a lot. Like w if we lost, I wouldn't go to like um, events and stuff because I was like n unhappy. One of them I did miss the winning goal. To be fair, so I was just like very unhappy. 
um, just didn't didn't want to be seen by anyone because I felt like it was my fault. But um, we, we looked dangerous down in the forward line today. It was good um, working with Fud. Um, but yeah, obviously, none of that really matters. Um, the only thing that matters is, is Will McCarthy's health and happiness. He's he's a 16 year old kid, um, so that that's yeah pretty difficult to deal with for, for not only the family. You got Al McCarthy as well, who plays in the football football side. Um, Who's, who's again only a, a young lad as well, and seeing that happen to your brother is is very very difficult. So it just puts everything into, into perspective, and um, I guess we play this game and think that everything's okay. But you, you know, there was someone that passed away last week playing football. There's someone you know each week that gets knocked out, and, and you know they they might never get to play the game again. So it's a you know it's it's a difficult sport that we play, and it's. Um, it's sad sometimes, and other times it's, it's it's fantastic. So fingers crossed for Will, and um, and hopefully he's all right. But that'll pretty much wrap up my uh, my evening chat. We're going to go to the ball, have a bit of fun, get around everyone. And I think that the wrap wrap your arms around everyone is is probably the message. Um, and uh, and just enjoy it, enjoy footy, enjoy life, um, because you never know when it might be your last game or your last time running out with your brothers. So we'll leave it at that, and uh, I guess we'll. Uh, We'll recoup tomorrow and see what happens. Got a bit of a feed us here for dinner. We've oh. got some love. We've got two serves of that. Did you? Got a focaccia for the nephew. Oh, tight. Ooh, 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 ooh. What else do you have? What's this? Oh, that's got the too. Oh. I don't know what that oh, is. Oh, my baby. Next. Ah. Oh, some tortellini. Mm. They did it hell quick for us. That's a. They did, hell. Hey. And calamari. You're the fucking girls. You're the girl, what the hell? You're the girls. What are the boys? It's not about you, is it? For once. The world literally revolves around me. <laughs> That's what someone said to me. The world doesn't revolve around you, Prime Jane. I Maybe. never said it did. Maybe it's your world. I just live in it. You literally just living in it. Weird girl, bro. Issues, I know, but. I drop it on the ground. You drop what on the ground? You know what you do when they drop stuff on the ground. Do you guys like my fit? This is my fit, LFG baby. I actually look deadly. All right, time to eat. Have Shut you ever showered? Now I'm seeing her watching you 